I woke up this morning at my camping spot right near Island Donnan Castle and I thought my plan was camp close by so that I can wake up early and get there close to when the castle opens so I can hopefully avoid all the tourists. Well, that plan failed. I woke up early-ish, but by the time I got over there, it had been open for 45 minutes, an hour already. And oh my gosh, the throngs and throngs of tourists. Uh, there were six coach buses there already and the parking lot was nearly full. So I guess everybody had the same plan of getting there early to avoid the tourists, but backfired on all of us. In the end though, I was glad I got there when I did because my timing was very serendipitous. As I am touring the castle, I'm on one of the upper floors walking by a window and I hear um, pipes and drums out the window and I peek out and there's like a whole crew of people getting ready to play. And I hear somebody say, oh, they're Canadian. So I kind of finished my little tour around the castle, I was almost done by that point. And I head outside and sure enough, they were a group of people, mostly from Canada, from all over Canada, um, and a few people from the States as well. And so they uh, warmed up quite a bit and played kind of near the parking lot. And then they marched over to the castle and played more over there. and then. Uh, march back across the bridge.
that was just like such a stroke of good luck to end up there at the right place at the right time to see them play with the backdrop of the castle there. That was just one of those moments that was perfect and you know brought a little tear to my eye and just you know made you really present and thankful and yeah I don't know something about bagpipe music always makes me tear up. After that I sat in the car for a good while kind of looking over what to do next because my original plan was to go spend a couple of days on uh, Isle Sky on my way up to the ferry port that would take me over to Lewis and Harris. Now it turns out timing wise there is a Celtic music festival going on at the same time that I had planned to be in Lewis and Harris and while I would enjoy Celtic music I didn't really plan on attending a music festival and it's quite expensive and yeah just not something I, I want to do and so as a consequence though the ferries are all booked up and I'm betting everything else will also be busy over there. So as a consequence I don't think I'm going to Lewis and Harris but I still decided I wanted to see the Isle of Skye anyways and so I headed across uh, there's a bridge you don't have to take a ferry to get here so uh, that was no problem. I stopped in the little town on the mainland just before you get to the bridge and went to their leisure center to have a shower and went to their co-op store to pick up some groceries and I can't believe the prices of some of the groceries like can't believe it how cheap they are. I got a liter of milk for 52 pence. You can't buy milk for that cheap in Canada. And I got lettuce for 69 pence. The produce here is amazing. It's all local. It's all super fresh and like the strawberries are just delicious. Anyways I'm, lo I'm loving the groceries here for the most part. Bread is a bit weird but otherwise. So then I decided to kind of drive all the way through Sky today to get to kind of the furthest point that I wanted to go and then work my way back tomorrow. So today I made it to an area called, and I'm going to butcher the pronunciation again, just it's my thing, Curang, something like that. Anyways, it's um, down this single track road, and there's a little parking lot, and then you go for a hike, and it's quite, I don't want to say mountainous, it's not that like that mountainous, but it's fairly steep hike and narrow trail, and you do not want to be afraid of heights if you're walking this path. Now if you do the full thing it's about seven kilometers in a full loop. I did not do the full thing. 
I got there kind of late for that. And as I'm going along, I'm looking up in the sky and the clouds are getting darker and darker and the wind is picking up. And so I'm afraid that it's going to start pouring and I'm gonna be stuck up here on this. I imagine it would be dangerous if it was pouring. Anyways, so I did a fair bit of it and instead of doing a loop, I just walked out and walked back. I just found a place uh, for the evening and that's about it for today's adventures. <laughs>